Hello and welcome to this quick video. This video is all about making sure that you know how to get VAT turned on within QuickBooks Online. Let's have a look. Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Aaron Patrick. I'm a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer with a fancy new logo that QuickBooks chap on the internet and also head of accounts over at Boffix. Now, if you've just taken on QuickBooks or you have had QuickBooks for a while, but you're just taking on VAT, then this video is just for you on how to get yourself set up. So first of all, let's head over to QuickBooks and have a look what we've got. All right, I've got a brand new file here and the client is called new VAT, so it makes it really straightforward. Now for me to set up VAT in the first place, I need to go to the taxes section down here from taxes, I'm gonna go and use this set up VAT just here. From there, it's gonna ask me when I'm gonna start calculating my VAT from. So when's my first month that I'm gonna be included? So in here, I'm gonna put April. And I wanna say I submit returns on either a monthly, quarterly, or yearly basis. I'm gonna go for quarterly. And then I get to choose if I'm standard accounting or cash accounting. Now, standard accounting is your typical accounting scheme. It's the idea that every time you raise a sales invoice and raise a bill, you'll be able to put that VAT against those particular VAT quarters. The cash accounting idea, though, is the idea that you will only actually have to pay over the VAT on an invoice or a bill when those invoices and bills have been paid for. So if you're in a position where you take for, or your customers and clients take forever to pay you, and it might be a better solution for you to think about considering cash accounting because basically what means it what that means is you can raise an invoice but you will only have to pay the VAT on that invoice when your customer actually makes that payment and that could be quite crucial to you the worst thing in the world is you raise a sales invoice customer's not paid you yet but you have to pay the VAT over so put that into consideration so that number is what you've been given to by HMRC and then press next Notice there was an option there to do flat rate scheme. I've done a whole video on flat rate scheme, so if you are confused about that, do check that other video. Now, this is a really important question. Enable making tax digital. Making tax digital is basically the, the way in which you have to file VAT going forward. Now, there are a few exceptions out there. There are a few companies who don't have to file via MTD, but for the vast majority of you, you're going to have to file via that. Now, H HMRC and QuickBooks have lots of guidance on making sure that you are set up correctly and everything's done. And in this video, we're going to assume you are set up correctly and everything's all ready to go. And we're going to just use QuickBooks to facilitate you filing your MTD, your making tax digital VAT tax return. Okay, once you're set up there, you're going to be shown this page just here. And there's a few things I need you to look at, first of all. First of all, go to your edit that and it, notice edit settings. You need to change any of those settings we've just done. They're all hidden just here. And also edit that and edit rates is going to be the best place for you to make sure that you've got the right rates in place. Now, VAT can be a scary world, but one of the most important things you've got to recognise is which rate to use at what time. So make that easy for yourself. You see, if you are sending out an invoice and it's got 20% VAT on, just have the one actual VAT code that makes sense of the word 20%. If you have multiple VAT codes that refer to 20%, you're going to get confused. So until you get more experience into what VAT is and everything else, always make sure that on this list here, you're just curating it for what's related to your business. But especially when it comes to claiming VAT. So when you're claiming the VAT and you're trying to put what VAT you've suffered, you need to be able to say if it was 20%, if it was zero rated, if it was 5%, if it's exempt, if there's no VAT, you're going to have to make those decisions. Again, if you have a file where you've got multiple VAT rates on here with multiple different ones on, you're just going to end up confusing yourself. As an example, if I hadn't curated this list already, I could have all of these different ones just shown here. So 20% RCCIS, 20% ECS, 20% RCMPCCES. Again, if any of these are showing and they're not relevant for you, just turn them off. To turn them back on again, use your list cog here, include inactive, and you can go through turning any of those older ones back on again if needed. But make your life easier. Only show the invoices 
Only show the VAT rates that are applicable to you. Once you've got your VAT rates sorted, then it's all about getting comfortable with a screen. This screen basically tells you at the top how your VAT return is going. So you can see that you've got zero collected on sales at the moment, zero paid on purchase at the moment, and zero adjustments. If I was to add a brand new invoice, and I'm going to do first of the fourth, just there, quickly create a new customer. Okay, I've just generated £200 of output VAT. So save and close. You'll see this is now updated to say I've collected £200 on sales. And at the moment, I'm not showing any of his expenses. Again, if I was going to put an expense in, I'm now showing £20 worth of expenses. And you see now it's showing that 20% is paid on purchases. And that will give me £180 ready to spend over. And if I'm coming to file my VAT return, I drop this down here. I've got all of these reports available. So this open report, this is still needs to be submitted. One of the best things I can do though is error check my return first. Error check your return is an opportunity for you to check that return to make sure you're happy with it. You'll get a lot of benefit from this because it's going to look at that return, basically make sure that everything's as complete as it should be. From here, I can see my snapshot, what's going to be paid over. Is there anything I'm missing? So anything that's not been included, any bank transactions that I now need to make sure I've got to include as well. Now this, anything that's included is your no VAT transaction. So always review them, make sure they're all applicable. Any unexpected items, any duplicated, any inconsistent, any VAT exceptions. And then it's gonna look at the largest income and the largest expenses to make sure you're comfortable with it. And then finally, it gives you a nice breakdown of all the codes being used. So you can jump into them, make sure they're all applicable. Once you're happy with that, press prepare now. And if you're on MTD, this is all pretty much completed for you. Start date, end date, and submission date will all be set for you. And you can then see the VAT return before it goes. And you can use this adjust button here to go through. Now, if you have the option here to mark as filed, that means you are not filing by MTD. So just be careful of that one. Mark as filed means that you are actually filing the, the VAT return elsewhere. So at this moment, I haven't enabled making tax for this particular client. So it's asking me mark as filed is my only option. If though, as one I prepared earlier, one I prepared earlier, you have this option to submit to HMRC just there. And all we do is we press submit to HMRC. We get this little screen there. We press submit. And just like that, our return gets submitted to HMRC. The other thing to note on this screen as well is if I just go back to where we just were, notice in the top left hand corner I don't have a making tax digital stamp, whereas on this one I do have a making tax digital stamp. So that's another good way of knowing that everything's been posted as it should be. And the other difference here is you can see that the returns have gone to paid below as open. That's because we've completed those returns. So as I prepare the return here, say let's mark as filed, say continue. That means now I have a filed return at the bottom and now I have an open return. Now, one more thing to think about. One of the key things to note when you do file it is it's gonna say, are you sure about Malcolm's filed? And it's gonna mark each of those individual transactions. That's a really good thing. That's something we want to happen. So it's good to see that. What that means is those transactions will have a stamp against them. So if we adjust them in any particular way, then they're gonna appear as, a, as an exception report. Let's have a look. So at the moment, we've only posted a couple of transactions. If I was to go in now though, and say that this expense here, I shouldn't have claimed the VAT for, so I'm gonna now put it to no VAT, press save and close, press continue. It's now gonna tell me that basically, next time I file a return, it's gonna have what's called an exceptions report just here. And it's basically saying that that 20 pound there is something that we're paying back. We originally filed it for £20, now we're going to file it for £0, so we're paying £20 back to HMRC. Exception report's really powerful. It's going to give you that confidence that whatever you file in your VAT return today, if you make an amendment to it tomorrow or next or later down the line, then you're going to have that being repaired. So what do you think? That was a quick look at filing and setting up your VAT. Didn't go into too much detail there. We've got plenty more videos about VAT and keeping it all nice and complicated for you if you want it. So do have a look at the rest of the channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that jazz, so that you can make sure that you don't miss out on anything to do with it. 
Let me know below, what did you think to get yourself created and set up on VAT? Did you find it nice and straightforward or have you had any issues whatsoever? Do let us know below so we can talk about it. My name is Renan Patrick. As always, it's been a pleasure to do this video for you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Hello and thank you for watching that video. What you may not know is this channel that you've watched this video from is part of a wider group. That wider group is called Apple Core Production. And the three channels that we have involved are as follows. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks chat. Boffix Tax Tip. Finally, we have Apple Core Live and Geeky. All the links and everything are down below in the description. But it really mean a lot to us if you can go and give a like to the other channels as well.